This is the Predator 3200 watt unit from Harbor Freight. This set of duplexes on one side of the windings, 110 volts. This set of duplexes is on another stator winding, and they're in series here to give 220. You get 13 amps out of here, 13 amps out of here at 120 volts. You can get 13 amps here at 230 volts because they're in series. Over here I've taken the end bell off and one of these is one of the 110 volt windings. Here's the other one that's the other 110, 120 volt windings and they're in series to give 230 volts whatever. And uh, if you want to hook these in parallel like there's another brand Duramax they have a switch on here that you can switch back and forth and then the plug can make out to be uh, at 120 volts the sum of the two which is uh, 26 amps at 120 volts uh, like for an RV or something and what they do is they're taking both windings and putting them in parallel with the switch that toggles back and forth and that's on the Duramax so if you want to retrofit one of these you can but you'd have to put either put another jack in here and then connect the windings so instead of there being in parallel you can connect them so they're in uh, series, excuse me, instead of series you connect them to be in parallel and disable the 230 volt uh, gizmo. Now in the Duramax what they do is they use when the switch is in one position you've got 250 volts and when you put it in the other position you get 120 volts just like before but then they're in parallel so you get double the amperage 26 amps. This is the AVR that's on here the brushes on the Harbor Freighter over here and this is the 3200 watt uh, unit. This is the ball bearing it's on there. I just pulled this off just to show the two windings. These are the two stator windings and they're in series right now for double the voltage uh, 230 volts. If you want to put them in parallel you can but you'd have to rewire this so that you've got um, have them in parallel. Sometimes people do that for RVs because you just have a 120 volt circuit and you want double the amperage. Okay the Duramax hybrid here XP 4850EH. The switch on here real quick is 12240. Normally it's in the 12240 thing. This connector you get out uh, a neutral and two hots across the two hots you get 23240 volts at 13 amps. And that's because the two stator windings here, L and R, are connected up in series. Now when it's in this position here, the two coils are in parallel, and you've got to a neutral and a hot, you've got uh, 26 amps at 120 volts, but you don't have any uh, 230, 240 volt service. So what they do is they've got the standard winding on here. You've got the R winding and the L winding. Each one's 120 volts. They've got them either in series parallel, depending on where how the switch is set. And they've got here the breakers tied together. They're both 13, 14 amp breakers tied together as a pair. And so when you've got this in 120, you've got uh, the two 13 amps going through here to give you 26 amps out of here at 120 volts. So you sometimes use that for RVs. We'll use that. Okay, I'm going to hook up the propane tank here turn on the gas put it on this is the prime button you can hear it goose a little bit of gas into the uh, air cleaner area and to start it up there's run Here's 120. Now 
now it's measuring 240 volts across these two. I'll plug in a load here. The lights on. I got an old skill saw here, a 559 we're gonna hook up. Watch the light here. Kick the breaker. Let's try it again. Didn't like that. in parallel so it's got more oomph to it. 26 amps. Thank you. 